Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. I'm joined by Cody Wingett to my right, Tim Sladisky from Rec Masters to my left. How's it going, Tim? Doing well, how are you? Good, good. It's good to see you here today, because today we have a special disc. Cody, what is it? Latitude 64, Claymore, and the Optoplastic. Yeah, this is actually a really cool disc mid-range that I throw um, for a lot of downhill shots. So I'm interested to see how you guys throw it. Let's go ahead and start it off by going to the profile. Let's check it out. The Latitude 64 Claymore in the Opto Plastic has that prototypical mid-range feel. Uh, the rim is not too deep though, or wide. Uh, feels very comfortable in your hand. Has a slight dome, but still pretty flat. And the Lucid Plastic is real gummy, real comfortable in the hand. When I threw the Claymore, on a hyzer release, it popped up the flat pretty quickly, rode straight pretty much the entire flight and just had a little hyzer at the finish. When I finally threw the claymore on a hyzer, it flipped up the flat, rode the hyzer, and then came back to the middle. When I threw the claymore on a flat release, it's a point and shoot disc. It just goes dead straight. When I threw the claymore flat, it flipped up, held straight, and rode a little bit to the right before landing flat. When I threw the Claymore on an Anheuser, I didn't want to do it on a steep Anheuser because there was a little bit of a headwind, but with just a touch of an Anheuser, it carried most of the flight turning over and then flexed back at the very end. When I threw the Claymore on an Anheuser, it held the Anheuser the entire way into the ground. And that's how we threw the Latitude 64 Claymore in the Opto Plastic. Cody, overall thoughts for a higher arm speed player? You know, uh, this just came out a couple years ago in the Trilogy Challenge Pack. Um, you know, I kind of got a little bit familiar with it, throwing it with that. Um, but, uh, you know, revisiting it a couple years later, um, it's really a point and shoot disc. It's very controllable. You can put it on any kind of line. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It just goes dead straight uh, when you throw it flat. Um, you know, you can shape lines and hyzer. Hyzer, it pops up to flat. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great disc for a mid-range. Yeah, I really do think so. What did you think, Tim, for an amateur player? I liked it a lot. It was pretty straight. I didn't, couldn't get too much distance out of it, but I could see it being in a lot of AMS bags because it is a little bit understable, so they'd probably be able to get that nice S flight if they're just starting or, you know, yeah. need that. I, absolutely. I mean, hey, I remember when this was in the Trilogy Challenge. It's actually the first Trilogy Challenge that I ever attended, run by you. That's right. And uh, this is actually a really cool disc for anybody starting out. I really think this is good for any skill player. Absolutely. So what I really like the Claymore for is for downhill shots, like I mentioned earlier. I actually use this whole nine at Knob Hill. It has a really nice, slow descending glide to it. I really like it for, for that particular shot. So, um, and it is pretty good in the wind as well, I'd say. It doesn't quite flip over as much as I, I would have, uh, you know, my Tursus or, or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's definitely an understable by trade, um, but uh, yeah, compared to a Tursus or something like that, it, it's definitely a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say, yeah, evidence is right along those same lines. So. Special thank you to Dynamic Disc for sending us this Opto Claymore for today's review. We really appreciate it, you guys doing that. Uh, also, we want to say, remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Share that. Share it, leave comments. We always appreciate it whenever you guys do that. It really drives us. So, Until next week, keep, keep banging, banging those chains. chains.